So if you go someplace and you and they're ordering ozone from somewhere and shipping it in, don't utilize that service because they don't know what they're doing apparently. At the Mayo Clinic, I've been doing a lot of research on joints and stem cells with the goal of hopefully preventing you know, these injuries to the joints, doing stem cell injections and things like that. But for now, I'm also doing a lot of research on stiffening of joints. Uh, it's called osteoarthritis or arthrofibrosis. We can get this scar tissue in the joints. And an interesting therapy I want to talk about today is ozone, prolo ozone therapy, which is literally injecting ozone with a needle right into the joint. And what's the scientific research? Where does the actual scientific research stand? You know, I mean, people talk about it a lot. People say it works, but I've got a really interesting study. It's brand new. So first I want to show you this review article from, I don't know, a long time ago, 2011. And it's called Ozone Therapy, a clinical review. And what do they say? They say, yeah, it's good for killing bacteria, virus, fungi, yeast, protozoa. It stimulates oxygen metabolism. And they've been using it for a lot, lot of years for diseases uh, such as SARS and AIDS, cancers, rheumatism, arthritis. That's what interests me viral diseases, macular degeneration, geriatric conditions. And what does it do? It essentially activates, they say, it activates the antioxidant system in your body. We don't know exactly how it works. That's one of the reasons I'm interested in it myself is because I'm interested in researching it. But who cares if we don't know exactly how it works, if it works. Does it work? 2017, brand new research paper here from PLOS One, the Public Library of Science Journal. It's called Comparison Between Intraarticular Ozone, intraarticular, that's joint, joint injections, ozone and placebo. That's where they just literally in, are injecting air without ozone in the treatment of knee osteoarthritis. Knee inflammation, arthritis, osteoarthritis. This isn't rheumatoid arthritis. There's no immune system problem. It's just arthritis from the knee grinding on itself, <clears throat> usually involved with age or people that are overdoing overdoing it with the joints a randomized double-blinded placebo controlled study boom this is it this is what we've been waiting for what did they find they did once per week injections of ozone or placebo again uh, for eight weeks and they found significant improvements compared to placebo with the ozone injection and that's super interesting. They're finding positive benefits in clinical controlled trials with ozone. And they take note that ozone only lasts about 30 minutes. It has about a 30, 20, 30 minute half-life, I guess. So you have to make it on site. So if you go someplace and, you, and they're ordering ozone from somewhere and shipping it in, don't utilize that service because they don't know what they're doing, apparently, if that's the case. Make sure they're making it on site if you ever use ozone therapy. And it's also interesting to note, and it's important in these type of studies, you have to have a placebo because just injecting air, just sticking a needle in there, activates kind of an inflammatory response, a healing response in your body at that real specific site. Remember, systemic inflammation, bad. Inflammation throughout your whole body, bad. At a really specific site of injury, that's good. It can initiate healing. And that's what's happening, I think, with ozone, is you're just amplifying that process. You're sticking a needle in, that, in, that initiates healing. Uh, we'll have to probably do a whole episode on that because people do that, right? People use just acupuncture and they initiate healing that way. But again, we'll look at the scientific studies for that later, but they take it a step further and they actually inject ozone. But you have to compare those two things. You can't just have people with a normal knee and then people, or an, an, you know, an arthritic knee, and a knee that's inflamed, and then people that are injecting ozone. You have to inject air as a control. They do that, the science is strong, ozone works to, to kind of decrease that osteoarthritis, that inflammation in the joints.